example, in a Zongji teaching that what we all are meditating, the awareness emptiness. Awareness emptiness is the what the teacher say, what you read in the text or in the books. And now you're going to put that in your your intelligence. It is true or not? <laughs> and there is certain some doubt and hesitations. Then yourself inquiry that yourself or discuss with the like Sangha members or the teachers. Discuss that. So true awareness, emptiness awareness, it is what really they said. That is what we're trying to meditate, but it's true or not. I'm trying to bring that uh, uh, that meaning, meaning that into heart or in the mind with the certainty wisdoms. The wisdom that then, then you don't have any doubt afterward. When you don't have the doubt and hesitation, when you develop that confidence, then then move forward. If then on the path, if there is some doubt and hesitation comes, that is obstacle. That is hindrance. That is interference of the emotions, negativities, or the duality. Then we shouldn't go on that side tracks. Continually maintain what you already developed, great certainty, wisdom, and confidence of the, such as like awareness, emptiness, stillness. And that is known as then the emptiness, awareness. Or oh, sorry, that is known as then the certainty or the contemplation questions. Well, there is a lot of Cuba, she took a hero, he brought out the brother, he saw the hero, he told me the brother, he didn't get it. That the last time you get in the room, 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 the last time you get in the now, these three wisdoms, now first wisdom is the wisdom that comes from the starting. That you went through, for example, you started. Through that wisdom, you can understand the meaning of the words, languages, all that kind of you understand, that meanings. So, and then second wisdom is the kind of process of the putting inquiry, inquiry to the meaning of that, what you started. You really went through that, through that, thoroughly that. So you analyze that. And now these two are very, very special and important. But if you just leave there, then you become maybe good scholars. Good scholars. It's <coughs> nothing but scholars. For example, then, like you become nice, like kind of inner, inner, what's called, inner sciences. You become maybe good psychiatrists. Good psychiatrists. Good psychiatrists. But that is not the only rational point in the Buddha's teaching. After that, then third wisdom have to be applied. That is known as the wisdom, sorry, meditation or the practicing wisdoms. Wisdom that comes from the practice and meditation. If you didn't do this third one, then that is known as called the knowledge is become only ideas, or the wisdom become ideas. Or mainly knowledge that or knowledge or the wisdom that mainly you left on the books or the shelves. Shelves is not really observed in your heart and mind. Order to observe in your heart and mind to improve yourself, make yourself at that what you started is the practice, practice and med meditation. Meditation or practice. Pra meditation is practice. Practice is practices. Practices. In the very young Buddhism, generally, practice, rechanting is meditation. Reciting is meditation. And the silence is meditation. Meditation. All, all is meditation, the practices. It's not just the chanting and the reciting is kind of outside of meditation. That you all know, the whole process, everything is within that practice status or meditation status. status. And therefore, with that, then, it began to 
your son become what you oh, our son become what we started what we learned mm -hmm.